Now we're going to be joined on the Megacast by David and Susan Emerling from Kigo Harbor. They are both part of Art Sale. Joining us on the Megacast, David and Susan, welcome to the program. Thanks Hello. for having us. Uh, how, how are you guys holding up? How's your family holding up during all this? Thanks. We're doing we're doing really well. Thank you for asking. How, how about you? I'm doing all right myself. Thank you very much. Um, so you're both part of Art Sale in Kego Harbor. And for those who aren't familiar, what is Art Sale? Art Sale is a group of local artists, and we've been together about four or five years now. And we we have a president, Robin LaFrance. Um, I'm the vice president. Um, we have a number of people we meet regularly. We have a Facebook page. It's and artists. Local artists connect and they help promote each other. They help take part in events. We support each other. We have meetings and our Facebook page is just a wonderful place for local artists and for fans. It's not just for artists, for people who like art to go on and um, connect. So I'd like to invite everybody to join Art Sale. It's a, it's a, it's a great showing of local art art i've been on the page before i've seen a lot of the art it's amazing how many great local artists we have in, in oakland county and in the surrounding areas and uh, it's safe to say that during a, st a stressful time like this art is a very useful uh tool and a useful outlet for people as well and um how can so susan you're an artist and from your perspective how can art serve as as a creative outlet uh both for an artist and for those who are consuming art uh, to help relieve stress during times like this? I would say that creativity is just the most wonderful way to keep yourself occupied. If you are uh, in your house and you're trying to entertain yourself, it's really great all year round. But uh, creativity is just, it's, it's wonderful for all levels. I, some of us can paint and we can draw, we can do photographs, ceramics, but there's other people out there who might just do needlepoint or something that, you know, any type of creativity at this time is very therapeutic. And even looking at art, we've noticed a lot more people are looking at our art sale page just to connect and see what artists are doing. Some artists even share the process. They'll take you, they'll do a video of the process of their work. And, and uh, so it's, it's great. And we have a lot of really talented people. And there are a lot, you, you do, and there are a lot of people that are also in our community. Uh, and one of the big stressors that they're facing is people are just trying to make ends meet right now. They're out of work. They're having trouble getting food. They're, they're, they're struggling right now. They're furloughed. They're not, they're not going out and doing what they always are doing, which is going to work and, and help, helping make their, bring food to their family and keep a roof over their head. And, Art Sale is currently going through a process to help some of these people that are in need in the local area out. Uh, could you explain what the uh, what, what Art Sale is working on right now with other community organizations to help ease some of those worries for these people that are absolutely in need during this time? Well, that's, that's a great question. Uh, the local uh, restaurant Indo, um, which is an Indonesian restaurant in Kigo Harbor, um, started almost immediately um, doing a little bit of a fundraiser and to keep their employees um, working, um, feeding uh, the, the needy. And that included uh, local veterans, elderly and, and people in need. And they were doing it um, uh, on their own um, with these food boxes that they were delivering um, to these people. Um, and, and that has been very successful in keeping them alive and keeping local business alive, which has been fantastic. So the idea came up of what, uh, what can we do to help uh, local here? And the idea of having, um, we named it Have a Heart uh, with the uh, emphasis on art, uh, art au auction. Uh, art Sale reached out to all of its local artists and said, is there any art that you'd like to donate? And um, on May 14th at seven o'clock, we're gonna do a Zoom uh, art auction with 100% of the proceeds um, since the art was donated, goes to the, this feeding need. Um, and uh, I'm involved with the Ohio State Alumni Club of Detroit, and we have a big um, um, 
we have a nice budget to be able to work with and we uh, are donating $250 of, of matching funds to go dollar for dollar for the money that's raised in this art auction. Well, that's fantastic. And you're, and you're partnering with Endo in Kiko Harbor. Are there any other community organizations that are involved or can, or if they would like to get involved, can get involved? Absolutely. Um, we reached out to the, uh, the local organization called the Jacket Club, which their, their charter here local is to uh, help, help the needy. And uh, they're going to help us identify some of the, uh, the people that this food would go to. Um, we are still looking for um, people to give us some names um, so we could vent them out. Um, if there's any other organizations that would like to either donate to this fund um, cause there's a donate page, uh, that the money's going to go to, and then the art will get exchanged once it's paid. Um, or if they have art, um, if there's other artists that like to donate, um, art sales website is the one that has the, uh, um, uh, links to, uh, to populate the art that's being donated. Um, that each, each piece of art will have a reserve on it. We don't want to give away this art. So, um, so if it doesn't meet the reserve, then, uh, the art will just stay with the artist. But, um, we, we've already gotten a lot of excitement in the community of people that said, so, oh, they know they're going to be bidding on stuff. So, so, um, this should be a, a wonderful opportunity for people to exchange, um, both, um, on the zoom to talk to each other in this, uh, desolate time and, uh, also to, uh, help people in need. So art sale artists are going to be auctioning off their art in this. For those that maybe aren't members of art sale but would like to contribute to, to a good cause and, and, help, uh, and help by donating some of their art to be auctioned off as well, can they get involved and how, and how would they get in contact with art sale to make that happen? Absolutely. We welcome all artists and we're always welcoming new artists into art sale. We're an open group. We'd love to include everybody. But if you're not in art sale, um, we'd love to have you donate your art. And uh, you just have to go. Um, David, maybe you'll yeah, well, you, you, right. we'll, we'll we'll help you with the links if you don't already have them and where to donate. And 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 what Susan's saying is art sale is really not an exclusive club. So so even if they're not in art sale today, they could be in art sale tomorrow by just saying like on the Facebook page. So. Um, so yes, anything, any kind of donation, both cash or art, um, or for that matter, uh, hopefully the, uh, the auction people bidding on the art is, is where all the money is going to come from. And when you go on our site, when we, we gave you the links, um, anyone can go on the site to see all the art. There's about almost 60 pieces already that are on there that are available. We have a, we have a local pottery artist, we have painters, um, the work is beautiful on there. Um, I have a couple examples here to show you. Yeah, I'm, also in the, I'm also in the show, but, and I don't have on hand examples of everybody's work, but I want to encourage everybody watching to go on and look at the other artists that are in there. There's some beautiful work. I just happen to own a piece of uh, pottery by one of the artists that donated this is done by Jack Butler, who has his studio in Kego Harbor. And he, his beautiful work is going to be part of the auction. He, he put in at least five, five or six pieces, I think. And so this is one example. I'll show you a couple pieces of mine that are gonna be part of the auction. I just happen to have here. So these are just a couple examples and the price ranges go from the low, some of them start at very low bids and some go a little higher. This is a print of one of my paintings. So we have prints and we have original paintings. This is another print of one of my paintings. These are, the originals are in watercolor and these are quality matted prints. And I'll show you one more. Okay. Uh, let's, here's a original watercolor that's framed and some of these have pretty reasonable starting bids on them. The artists are being very generous and offering their work at very reasonable starting bids. So I encourage everybody to go on and check out the other artists. There's some wonderful art 
Absolutely. And, and another, another thing to point out, because um, we know that we recognize that everybody's going to be on um, Facebook, which is where all of the art is, is being um, populated for the actual Zoom meeting. Um, all, all that's required for people is to have their computer um, linked to the Zoom. And we're, we're going to feed the video of um, the art um, as, a, as, a, as a, uh, um, a, a desktop share so they don't have to have a Facebook page to see the art before they bid on it. Yeah, that's fantastic. And there's plenty of great art on there. I've been on the page. We'll, we'll get a link out there so that uh, those watching, you can go to civiccentertv.com. Those listening can go to civiccentertv.com on our coronavirus page and, and have that information that they'll, that they'll need. And, we'll, and we can push that out through social media a, as well. And I've seen some of the art. It's, been, it's, it's fantastic. It's beautiful. There's a variety of it. And uh, we've, we also, you mentioned yet a piece of pottery from Jack Butler in Gigo Harbor. We've mm-hmm. had him on before and uh, on, on the splash on our news magazine. So there's a lot of variety of, of art out there. And, uh, before I let you go, we just got a couple more minutes. Um, one of the concerns in these times, of course, is, is safety. Everybody's touching different things and with the, with the mm-hmm. art, uh, getting that art to the people who have bid on it. How is Art Sale and its partners in this ensuring that the art does get to its recipients in a safe manner? So uh, it, the, the people that have known protocol um, from the day one to be able to handle uh, providing um, safe safe goods to the the community is is the restaurants, so that uh, that was paramount in our in our discussion of how how are we going to exchange all this stuff. So Indo is is restaurant has been closed all these um, uh, weeks, as you know they have been delivering and also um, carry out. So they know the protocol of being able to uh, keep things safe. So the art once um, once the the uh, the art has been um, bid on and approved and met the the, uh, the uh, reserve. The art will be delivered then to Indo, which will then take three days to to uh, sit in their restaurant uh, safe and sound. And uh, then the art bidder who won it um, will then make prearranged uh, time to uh, pick up the art at Indo after the three days of um, quarantining. Fantastic. So safety measures have been taken. I think it's a great idea too. They have the restaurants handle that. They've been working through these safety precautions since day one. And it's good to know that, that this community collective for a good cause is taking all the measures that has to be taken uh, in order to make this effective. So David and Susan Emerling from Art Sale, before I let you go, joining us on the Megacast, anything else that we haven't touched on? Anything else that the two of you would like to say? Did we talk about the delicious food at Indo? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the whole fact that this this really was, and I, I kind of mentioned it in the intro. Um, this not only is feeding the the, the needy, um, but it's keeping the local restaurants open. This is this is this is an important uh, detail that uh, you know, give, giving this uh, donating this money to be able to keep their employees working. Um, and keeping a, a real treasure jewel of Indo in Kigo Harbor is 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 one of the the variables that uh, why we we uh, endorse this this uh, adventure. All right, David and Susan Emerling from Art Sale joining us on the Megacast.